सो टुडे आई हैव कम विद डिफरेंट टॉपिक दैट इज बेसिक ऑफ पी सी बी डिजाइन लाइक वॉट इज पी सी बी डिजाइन फ्लो ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट विद दैट आई हैव ड्रॉन अ फ्लो चार्ट सी आई हैव ड्रॉन अ फ्लो चार्ट वन बाई वन आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस ओके सो वॉट इज दिस इज द कॉमन क्वेश्चन विल यू विल गेट इंटरव्यूर विल आस्क यू वॉट इज द डिजाइन फ्लो हाउ हाउ डू यू डिजाइन फ्रॉम बिगनिंग टू एंड गर्व जनरेशन हाउ विल यू डिजाइन द पी सी बी सो दिस इज द थिंग स्टार्ट इनपुट्स फ्रॉम कस्टमर लाइक स्कीमेटिक एदर हार्ड कॉपी और सॉफ्ट कॉपी बी ओ एम डेटा शीट पी डी एफ Uh, they will give either BUM part number, bill of material, all the um, components part number will be there. Uh, if soft copy of schematic available, yes, then create footprint as per the data sheet. Okay. If it is not available, if soft copy of schematic is not available, draw schematic as per the hard copy given by customer using EDA tool. EDA tool depend. it may be orcad it may be uh, pads logic uh, like pads um, different uh, like dx designer so many edia tools are there no so draw schematic as per the hard copy given by customer using eda tool okay then then send the soft copy of schematic to customer for verification customer approved if yes then create footprint as per the data sheet no do the changes in the schematic as per the customer comments okay then next assign footprint to each part and all pages of the schematic then generate netlist import netlist to the board layout next specification for board size number of layers shapes layer management power plane split plane i'll tell you specification of board size either they will give you dxf nowadays your uh, client will give dxf or board dimension they will give number of layers like how many uh, layers board they want shapes like uh, they want power where which is power section which is an uh, analog digital these are all things client will explain you layer management then power plane split plane how many uh, depends on the client then component placement then send the placement file to customer including schematic and netlist for verification and routing approval see component placement uh, it's completely uh, like uh, client will uh, give you uh, like specification for connectors placement leds uh, like bga microcontroller where they want um, particular section analog section will be different digital section will be different so this is the thing component after component placement uh, send the placement file to customer including schematic and netlist for verification and routing approval next customer approve for routing if yes constraint setup highlight nets for power and ground splitting power and ground plane fan out for ground and power no do the changes in placement as per the customer requirement after that start routing for signals see after this constraint setup highlight nets for power and ground splitting power and ground plane fan out then you start routing for signals then finish routing then check drc errors and clear it send routing files to customer for checking and giving up approval for gerber next customer approved for gerber no then do the changes in routing as per the customer then again send routing file to customer for checking and giving approval for gerber if they have approved for gerber do silk screen arrangement and gerber data generate gerber and that's it so this is the basic question suppose you are going face to face interview they will ask you uh, to draw the flow chart so this is very important for uh, uh, pcb designer to know this is basic question they will ask how to uh, how you will design the pcb from beginning to end like from schematic to gerber how what and all the steps are there so please go through this video do, uh, check one by one S uh, slowly you just uh, this is all you will do okay but this is a uh, way how how you make the flow chart so hope this video will be helpful for you and uh, i am uh, going to make so many videos um, uh, as per uh, uh, i uh, as per the comment if you are asking any question please comment i'll make the video of that
थैंक यू सो मच